All right, so this video we're going to look at solving a system of equations. We have two equations, two unknowns, and we have fractions in one equation. We have decimals in the other one. All right, so, well, it's simple to do. Uh, first, we'll get rid of the fractions in the first equation by multiplying each term by the common denominator. And then, in the second equation, we'll get rid of the decimals. Okay? All right. So let's, let's see what we have. So if we look at the first equation, we can see in the denominators we have a 3 and a 5. So if we get a common denominator, well, that's 15. So I'm going to multiply this first equation by 15. Remember, if you have an equation, you can multiply each term by a number and we're just multiplying each term by the common denominator okay? and that'll get rid of the fractions and then remember if you multiply a number by 10 that moves the decimal one place to the right multiply by a hundred it moves the decimal two places to a right to, to the right a thousand moves it three places to the right and so on all right, so you can see here we need to move the decimal one place to the right to get rid of it. Here we need to multiply the, the number, or, or we need to move the decimal one place to the right to get rid of it. So, and then this one we don't need to worry about. So to get rid of the decimal, we'll have to multiply each term by 10. All right, so let's do that. So 3 goes into 15 five times. So 5 times negative 1x is negative 5x, okay? Plus, and then 5 goes into 15 three times, and then 3 times 2, so that's going to give me 6y. And then 15 times 6, so 15 times, or 15 times negative 6 is negative 90. All right. Now let's multiply each term here by 10. So point, negative point 0.5 times 10, well that moves the decimal one place to the right, so that's negative 5x. And then 10 times negative 1.5, that's minus 15. And then that equals, and then 10 times 12 is 120. All right, so now remember, when you're solving an equation, you can either use the addition method or you can use substitution method. And I do have videos on substitution method and videos on addition method if you want to check those out. All right, so in this one, we'll use the addition method. So just remember, when I add the system together, I need one of the variables to go out. I forgot my y right here. All right, I need one of the variables to go out. So what I can do is I can multiply, well, how about we multiply the second equation by negative 1, because that'll give me negative 1 times negative 5 is positive 5, and so negative 5 plus 5 is 0. And look, if you wanted to, you could multiply this equation by 5 and the second one by 2. That would give you 30y and negative 30y. Okay? But it's just easier to multiply one equation by a number instead of both. Okay? Sometimes you may not have a choice. Sometimes you may have to multiply each equation by a number. And if that's the case, then you know that's fine. But it's just easier to multiply by one equation by a number. That's the easiest thing to do here. All right, so let's see what we get. All right, so let's just go ahead and write the first equation down. It's not going to change any. So I've got negative 5x plus 6y equals negative 90. Okay. And then multiply this equation by negative 1, so negative 1 times negative 5, that's 5x, negative 1 times negative 15, that's plus 15y, and negative 1 times 120 is negative 120. 
and then we add and you can see the X terms go out so that's going to give me what is it 21 Y is equal to and then 90 plus 120 is two t or negative 90 plus negative 120 is negative 210 and then I'm going to divide both sides see I have an equation now I've got 20 Y equals negative 210 so I'm going to divide both sides by 21 and so that is going to leave me with y is equal to 10. I'm sorry, not 10. How about negative 10? Okay, so there's y. But now I need x. Okay, remember we have to write our solution in the form x, y. And I have y, so I need to get x. <clears throat> well, I can take the negative 10 and I can plug it back into any one of these equations. Makes no difference which one. Well, I'm not going to plug it into one of these because then I've got to deal with fractions and decimals. So what I'm going to do is plug it back into this one because it's the one with the smallest numbers. That's the only reason I'm plugging it into this one. Okay. So let's plug the negative 10 in for y. And so I've got negative 5x plus 6 times y. And in the place of y, I'm going to put negative 10. And that equals, and that equals negative 90. So now I solve this. So I've got negative 5x minus 60 equals negative 90. Okay. And then I'm going to add 60 to both sides. And so that's negative 5x equals negative 90. I'm sorry, negative 30. And then I will divide both sides by negative 5. And so that gives me x is equal to 6. And so now when we write our solution, we write it in the form x, y, x is 6, y is negative 10, and there's our solution. So I hope the video helped. Uh, check out my other videos. Give me a like, share, and subscribe, and thanks for watching.